Minecraft Live just announced a ton of new stuff all around Minecraft, obviously the video game, and we are going to try to cover everything that was talked about during Minecraft Live that mattered, that you actually like care about. I'm going to try to cover all of this in semi-chronological order compared to you know what they announced on the show. If you want to jump ahead, you can either scroll ahead or I have individual videos about the 1.20 update, Minecraft Dungeons, and Minecraft Legends. You can check out those videos on the channel. Starting off with Minecraft Legends. This is a completely new game, and we got a good look at it at Minecraft Live. This is an action strategy game from a third person perspective of the player. This is the start of a piglin invasion. The player is given a few tools to accomplish their task. The flame of creation, which can summon in friendly mobs to help the player out. The banner of courage, which helps you direct your friends or troops around the battlefield and a loot. I feel like you got the flame of creation and the banner of courage, the loot of something, the loot of something, man. You gotta have something else on that, not just a strange old loot. The loot is used to summon allies, not, no, no, not allies, allays, and these allays will help you. There are definitely a lot of crazy creatures and characters in this game that are not in any other game. One example of that is these hosts. Uh, the hosts are three characters that are the voice of the overworld. They will provide you with tools and help with gameplay and world building. Their names are foresight, action, and knowledge. And that is to represent the three strengths that every strong player needs. Foresight, action, and knowledge to get it done. To help the player out, there are many new types of golems, and you may get some help from some unlikely friends. This game can be co-op, so it can be up to four player co-op, you and three friends, uh, although this is not couch co-op, this is only networked co-op. Moving on to Minecraft Dungeons. It is now season three of Minecraft Dungeons, and the new season is Fauna Fair. This was actually announced on the 12th, uh, so we really just got to see a lot more of it during Minecraft Live. Fauna Fair is all about the animal mobs in Minecraft. These rewards are cosmetic items like pets or skins or things like that. Sometimes there are also emeralds. One cosmetic that they do need to add is this brand new OMG Craft t-shirt, which you can get right now on my new merch store, store.omgchad.com. Look at it, it looks so nice. Feels really nice too. This is one of those premium tees, super soft. Check it out now. Like I said, the theme is all about animals. So we got a lot more pets announced, cosmetics to the player, which skins that include like onesies of animals, and emotes that also are very animal-like. They're also adding new light around the player camp where you kind of uh, set up your adventure. Now, there is a new merchant available, and this is a pretty powerful one. It's called the Enchant Smith and the enchantsmith can take a weapon that you have and give it new enchantments. You don't necessarily get to choose these enchantments, they are randomized, but obviously once you get one that you like, you don't have to get rid of it. So that allows players to re-enchant their armor, which is pretty cool. Uh, not armor, but tools. Armor, tools, all that stuff, anything they can get enchantments. Um, and a, a lot of times you might have something that's really, really neat, but gosh, it would really work a lot better if it also collected more souls, because my artifacts are soul-based or whatever. And so you can try to roll and get a better enchantment that works with your build. In order to get the enchant smith, you do need to rescue them from the high block halls. Another change in Minecraft Dungeons is the tower. The tower was introduced a while back, but now you can actually play the tower with your friends. Four players maximum, so that is you and three friends, can join the tower and try to fight up the tower. If you're unfamiliar with this, 
uh, you join the tower as a tower avatar. So you lose all of your items. You're basically a new character and you're given items every level you advance. And it's uh, at the very, very end, however far you've progressed, you'll get one item to keep at the end. Because this is multiplayer, you will be able to see what your co-op friends are doing uh, in between levels, what items and upgrades they are choosing. And the difficulty will scale with the amount of players that are playing the tower. Every person will win their own reward. So it's not just like one person gets the one reward. Ward. And there are new floors on the tower along with new bosses, the Tempest Golem and the Ancient Guardian. Moving away from the tower, there is a new level that you can access even if you haven't purchased the DLC. So this mission is available to all players for free. It is based in the jungle. Also, this year there will be another spooky event with Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, this is the third time this has happened. And normally we, you'll get uh, these like kind of unique items that are specific to the season. And you can normally get those also in Bedrock Edition as well. So if you get something really cool cosmetic, it will also be in the character creator uh, so you can use it over there. Moving on to Vanilla Minecraft. 1.20 was announced and the announcement is there's no name. <laughs> we don't know the name yet. They started off by addressing some of the community unhappiness around some of the things that were shown in previous Minecraft lives, but never implemented. So they've made a commitment that all of the things that they are showing during this Minecraft Live are much further along in development, and so the chances that they make it into the game are much, much higher. 1.20 will be released in 2023. Let's start off with some of the additions. We got hanging signs, which are made from stripped logs and chain. They include all of the different wood types, and they have three hanging variations. They can hang from the bottom of a solid block, they can hang from the side of a solid block, or they can hang off of a post or a chain with a cool like V formation of a chain. That V formation version can be rotated in all the various degrees that like signs and banners can be rotated in. There is a new wood type and that is bamboo. We've already had bamboo and bamboo forests and obviously you could use bamboo to create scaffolds, but this is a a new wood type. So this will include planks, doors, trap doors, fences, fence gates, slabs, stairs, all of that stuff. There's also something that is unique to bamboo, which is the bamboo mosaic. That reminds me an awful lot of chiseled stone. Also, all the other wood types can create boats. So bamboo can create a boat, but not really a boat. It's actually a raft. It's a boat with no sides, but it can do all the things that a normal boat can do. Two players can sit in it. You could put mobs in it, or you could put a chest in it. Also new is functional bookshelves. This is a new block that does not replace the current bookshelf texture. It's a new block entirely. It can store between zero and six books, all types of books, enchanted books, normal books, written on books, books that hold your deepest and darkest secrets in the world. And it works with redstone. Uh, comparators can tell the last book that was pulled from the shelf. There is no inventory, there's no UI. You just click on the shelf and the book pops out into your hand. There's a new mob called the camel because it's a camel. This camel lives in desert villages. It can be ridden just like a horse, but not quite just like a horse because two players can ride on it and instead of having the high jump effect of a horse, it has a dash effect. The developers of Minecraft mentioned that their inspiration for this update is expression through representation. So many of these new additions are things that are in the world, but are not yet represented in Minecraft. With this in mind, they are adding more skins to represent more of the player base. These skins will be used in trailers and marketing materials, and I assume available in the Minecraft launcher to choose as a default skin. And finally, mob vote. At the end of the day, the mob vote winner is the sniffer.
And I don't think that this is surprising to many people. I myself did a poll and the sniffer won single-handedly. And there you have it. That is everything that was announced during Minecraft Live. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Tried to work really, really hard on it. If you want to know more about any of the topics that I talked about in this video, I do have a few separate individualized videos for Minecraft Vanilla, Minecraft Dungeons, and Minecraft Legends. So please check that out on the channel right now. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.